呃，女士们、先生们，大家好！感谢主办单位邀请我们这个团队一起参加国际性的学术研讨会。呃，这几年呢，我们和芝加哥大学东亚艺术中心合作，对中国的一些文化遗迹的流散文物做了一点相关的研究。这次呢，我们就要向大家介绍我们的研究成果。数字考古不应该是简单对考古发掘过程和文物出土的一般性的扫描记录啊、数字建模、信息存储，呃，这种应用，呃，还应该是对历史遗留的人类文化遗迹、流散文物和它的母体的现状做系统的调查追踪，考察它们是否有造型还原的可能性，还有学术价值。啊，这些调查追踪呢，芝加哥大学、东亚艺术中心和一些美国的其他大学已经做了很多年的研究，呃，有了很多成果。呃，在对历史遗迹和相关流散文物的调查评估的基础上，我们应该将一些有学术价值和逆向复原有可能性的这些项目，啊，通过国际学术合作进行跨时空的。啊，这个虚拟现实技术下的逆向的造型还原和圆镜的还原研究，这需要所有于离散文物，啊，还有母体造型环境有关的博物馆、文化机构、文化管理机构才有可能完成。数字美术考古研究更重要的是解决流散文物碎片信息的重组和还原。呃，才能给后面的过程考古学，呃，对人类精神文化的过程研究提供相对完整的造型信息。呃，作为雕塑家，我们参与这项学术研究呢，呃，所能贡献的是三维造型艺术实践经验和长期专业实践造就的视觉艺术的素养。呃，这两个。条件在研究过程中间，呃，发挥了不可或缺的重要作用。呃，最后要说的是，我们今天不是追究文物是怎么离散的，那是复杂的历史问题，我们既无资格也没有能力去讨论它们。我们要做的是，怎样用现代信息技术解决文物信息的碎片化现象。所造成的学术困扰，通过我们的合作，我们的努力，力求给破碎的历史遗留还原一个相对完整的造型信息和视觉状态，这才是我们参与数字化美术考古的啊最终的目的。呃、啊，下面就请我们的欧阳振宇老师给大家具体介绍我们是怎样做这种研究尝试的。请大家多提意见，谢谢。Hello, everyone. I'm Zheng Yu Ouyang from Xi'an Jiao Tong University. It is a great honor to attend this conference. On behalf of the research team, I will continue to introduce a research work of our center over the past four years. The topic of my speech today. Is restoring the formal life of dismembered cultural artifacts, a case study of the virtual restoration research of the relief, offering position of Empress Astana with her court. This study is an interdisciplinary international cooperation project with the following collaborating institutions: the Nelson R. King's Museum of Art, Longmen Grotto Institute. Center for East Asian Art, University of Chicago, and we would like to express our gratitude here for their dedication and support in this study. Binyang Central Cave in Longmen Grottoes, Luoyang, China, was excavated during the Northern Wei Dynasty. It was relatively intact until the early 1930s. The two large relief sculptors, Empress Xiaowen and Empress Wen Zhao. Are significant works of Buddhist art in ancient Chinese grotto, representing rich connotations of ancient Chinese history and culture.
Unfortunately, they were damaged and discarded overseas in the early 1930s and now collected by the Met Museum of Art in New York and the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art in Kansas City. Part 1. The Spatial Dispersion of Fragments of Empress Position First of all, I need to briefly introduce the dispersion of this relief. Let's take a look at some historical photos of this relief 100 years ago. The above images truly present the original state of this relief 100 years ago before it was destroyed. As shown in these two pictures, this relief is located on the second floor to the north of the relief wall on the east wall of the Binyang Central Cave. At the same time, the relief composition turns from two-thirds to the south wall of the Binyang Central Cave. So the special form of this work is different from the plain relief in the general sense. The dispersion and the reconstruction of the relief empress position 80 years ago. This is a photo of the residual wall site in Binyang Central Cave. It is obviously that the current state is fragmented. At the same time, the historic and cultural information represented by these reliefs is also forced to fragmentation. Regarding the dispersal and the reconstruction of this relief, we must mention it here and express our respect for Mr. Lawrence Sickman due to his tracking of fragments from 1932 to 1934. I swear as his efforts to organize the restoration of reliefs from fragments 80 years ago, it has laid the possibility and opportunity for our research today, as the following video shows. The material displayed in this video are provided by the Nelson Museum, which clearly record the reconstruction and the restoration process of this relief at that time. Their professional restoration work and complete records are important foundations for our research. Unfortunately, the number of fragments obtained by Sigma was limited and a large number of imitations were mixed in, as shown in this picture. There are still a large number of fragments believed to be imitations still preserved in the Nazi Museum, but one of them is believed to be an original fragment, as the picture shows. 2,237 fragments were also preserved in Longman Grotto Research Institute, but after our research, we have not found any fragments that clearly belong to the Empress position. The fragments on the heads of several male characters may belong to the Emperor position, as this picture shows. Part 2. Preparation for Virtual Restoration at this stage, we mainly need to complete the following three tasks. Data acquisition, research method design, and extraction of original fragments from the relief of the Empress position. Step 1. Virtual restoration ideas and research programming. Our restoration paths and method will be presented through the following two pictures. 
This picture shows the five types of data information required for our restoration process, including residual world data, the relief data collected by Nelson, original fragments data, and historical photos. These four types of data all belong to data with reliable information sources. However, due to the severe damage of this relief, there is a still a lack of a unified infrastructure to integrate and utilize the above data. So an important step in our restoration process is to reverse reconstruct a 3D relief framework. This framework is the clay relief sculptor restored it by Professor Jia Zhufei through the use of the four reliable information just mentioned above. Finally, based on this framework, we will unify these five types of data information for mutual error correction in order to restore the original state of the relief to the greatest extent possible. This is a specific step diagram of our restoration path, which further presents all the research steps. Step 2. Data Acquisition Our research team complete data acquisition of the Nelson Museum's Empress position in February 2019 and 2022, as well as the remaining relief walls of the Binyang Central Cape in Longmen Grottoes, and 2,237 remaining fragments. Step 3. Deconstruct the original fragments of the Nelson Museum's Empress position. Extract 3D surface data of the original fragments. In the following video, we will show you the research process of redeconstructing the restoration results of 80 years ago to extract the original data of fragments. By separating and extracting the 3D data of the original relay fragments, we have completely its separation from the repair parts, which allows us to conduct independent research on it. Part 3. Research Process of Restoration under Virtual Reality Technology The next part is an introduction to the restoration process. Since the restoration path is relatively complex, we will present several videos of different research stages to help you better understand the whole process of our research. Step 1. Building a unified 3D coordinate system based on virtual reality technology. Our research materials include two different types, 2D and 3D. Therefore, based on the two-dimensional plane attributes of photos, we must build a coordinate system based on the three-dimensional data of residual wall, and then unify the research data of different attributes in a coordinate system. What we see now is the accurate restoration of the OS graphic projection of the historical photo on the residual wall, which is an important step in our research process and the basis for the accurate position and contour restoration of the relief. Step 2. Full-size relief clay sculpture reduction As shown in the picture, this is the production process and the final result of the clay relief. But this is not the final restoration result of the relief. We still need to perform a three-dimensional scan of it and implant into the unified coordinate system just mentioned for final comparison and error correction. The fifth element required for restoration is now complete. Step 3. Overall, 
we have collected the file restoration elements, which can be implanted into the coordinate system to carry out multi-layer overlapping compression and error correction of the orthographic projection of the relevant data. In this coordinate system, we have established a unified feature point matching relationship for all the research data, which can effectively give full play to the research value of this research data, and through the interrelationship of different information carried by them, help us to get as close as possible to the original state of the relief and constantly verify the accuracy of our restoration results. Step 4. Precess, Reset, and Detail Adjustment in the Unified Coordinate System The last video showed you the process of implanting different research data into the Unified Coordinate System. Now we are looking at the process of detail adjustment and the mutual error correction of this data in the Coordinate System. During this process, we found that the Empress precision restored by the Nelson Museum eight years ago had an accurate splicing position of fragments, and there are some imitations still mixed in. We are not denying the previous research achievements here, but rather hoping to make up for the historical regrets caused by the limitations such as technical mass hoods and research materials in the new era. Step 5. Based on all the above research work, we have basically restored this relief, so we can finally restore it to the residual wall of the Binyang Central Cave. Through the construction of the five elements of restoration and the continuous adjustment and error correction in the unified coordinate system, we can finally combine the three-dimensional data of the relief restoration results with the three-dimensional data of the residual wall. Fortunately, we found that our restoration result can be well combined with the existing residual wall. Even the gouges left on the wall can be accurately matched with the position and contour of each part of the relief.
Part 4, The Concept of Dispersion Heritage Data Chain and Research Results Sharing. Based on the above research concepts and methods, while completing the research on the integrity of dispersion cultural relics, we will also create a complete data chain for this dispersion cultural relics and achieve cross time and space display through the sharing of digital research results. This concept may be a new approach for the future development of museums, the display of dispersion cultural relics, and the improvement of display content. Based on the concept of dispersion heritage data chain, as shown in this picture, we can review the integrity digital result of the Binyang Central Cave in any relevant museum on this data chain in the future. The above is a brief introduction to the research work of this project. We have been conducting this research for four years, but there are still some further research work that needs to be carried out. Thank you for listening. Finally, I would like to end my speech with this paragraph. What we have done today is only to find solutions and the research methods across time and space for the fragmentation of human cultural heritage. It is in the complete historical remains where lives the entire history of human civilization. That's all. Thank you.